Ron L. Nolan, President, CEO, Health Agents for America, coming to you live. We would like to wish you a happy Labor Day. We didn't come live Monday, um, hoping that some of you were taking some time off and um, maybe possibly enjoying some time with your um, with your family or doing some cleanup in so many of the states that are being ravaged by natural disaster. Last week, I, I listed several places that were suffering, um, and this week I'd like to add New York, who has had tremendous flooding from Hurricane Ida. So uh, Ida hit Louisiana and then went straight up uh, the United States and um, some of our members have had some flooding in New York. So please keep them in your thoughts um, as we continue to uh, to do our cleanup. You might hear some cleanup in the back uh, in the background, some noise. So my apologies. I do have someone here helping to clean up some of the branches and things that uh, fell around the house. Um, I was as I've said, so blessed that I didn't get um, really affected as bad as some of our members who still are without electricity. If you haven't been in um, almost 100 degree uh, heat without air, uh, without water, without um, just the basic necessities, gas, it's 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 not only scary but it affects you mentally and then for folks like me who you know feel like I should be doing something I wish I could help more um, I feel guilty um, you know I, I you know it puts you in a bad mental space I did drive a couple of hours on Saturday to bring a meal, bring meals to some guys working that there was nothing open in their city or surrounding cities. So I did, you know, I was able to do something, but not um, all that I would like to do. I do want to let you know there's a couple of things in the Monday morning news. One from the Wagner Law Firm. Uh, I, th I think it's an interesting story about a lady who was under the influence that fell down a flight of stairs. Her family uh, filed for AD&D and, and there was a, uh, a clause that that wasn't covered. So I thought that was an interesting story. There's an article on ACA plan cost without subsidies to give you an idea of the rising cost of health care. And a reminder, as we all know, the ACA is not uh, affordable. There's nothing affordable and there's nothing going to be affordable in the Affordable Care Act. Oscar has uh, reported big gains. So insurance companies continue to report big gains. And also at the Hoffa uh, Agent Summit, we elected new officers for the 2022-2024 year. Your new chairwoman of the board will be Bridget Gilbert. Your uh, vice chair will be Guy Fury. Your secretary treasurer will be George Rosenbaum. Your vice chair of education will be Sandy Davis. Your vice chair of membership and marketing will be Tori Parker. Your vice chair of legislation will be Derek Babcock. Your vice chair of regulation will be Jennifer Lovett. And your immediate past chairwoman of the board will be Trish Freeman. So keep them in your thoughts. We'll have our first um, planning session at the beginning of the year to get ready for the two upcoming years. We did move our power hour to this Wednesday, so tomorrow, 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. Please join us. It's being hosted by Ambetter. You want to learn about Ambetter coming into your respective states and what they have to offer. They have promised low rates and high commissions. So excited to hear what they have to say about uh, the, the market, the upcoming market for 2022. Also, Immediately following that at three o'clock Central Standard Time, we'll have our Legislative Commission uh, Transparency Task Force meeting. I have invited Zywave and Diceris 
Dysiris Law, who I feel will bring some uh, help to our task force. They are HAPA sponsors. Uh, Zywave, you know, doing all kinds of things with commissions. I feel like they can help with our model notice and Dysaris Law to help us with making sure our model notice is legal and that we get that in the hands of the Department of Labor ASAP. I did reach out to CMS and um, it doesn't appear that they are going to join, join our call anytime soon, uh, but I will stay on top of that issue as we, you know, try to find out what's going to happen for 1227 on the short-term medical and uh, individual medical part of the federal budget. The last thing I wanted to share with you again is the marketplace training is open for agents and brokers that are returning. Um, I will reiterate my concern that the uh, training for new agents and brokers is not available and they're not sure when it will be. When the Biden administration is throwing so much money to the navigators, the navigator program and expanding their footprint. Uh, as I encourage more agents to get into the marketplace and how I have predicted that short, the small group market will turn on its ear and, you know, there will be more people going in the individual market. If you haven't sold in the marketplace in the past and would like to get into that uh, piece of the, the, uh, your book of business, it's not available. You can't, you cannot do the marketplace training. I have, I am um, and I will continue to stay on top of that issue to try to see as soon as we, you know, can find out that you can start training. But at this point, as a returning agent, you can. Um, as a new agent, you cannot. My apologies, and um, it is what it is. You are going to continue to fight for your industry as you have fought in the past, and that's why it's so important to be a member of HAFA and to share our vision and mission with your colleagues. This isn't about competition and you being in competition with your neighbor. This is about our survival. And if we do not buckle down, get our head out of the sand and start fighting as hard as we can, we'll be a thing of the past. And I refuse to be a thing of the past. I have dedicated my life to this industry and I don't plan on giving up. I don't plan on giving up on you. So much love to everyone. My thoughts and prayers go out to you, everyone that's recovering from floods and fires and hurricanes. But if you need me, I'm here. I haven't stopped working. Um, I will not stop working. Proud and honored to represent the Hoffa Freedom Fighters, the cream of the crop, the best of the best, Ronnell Nolan, until Wednesday, tomorrow, Hoffa Power Hour.